Herzog and Demeron has designed a wide range of projects from the small scale of private home to the large scale of urban design. More or less exactly 12 months ago, Herzog and Demeron, together with the Danish architectural firm of legendary Wilhelm Lauritsen, won the competition to design the new North Zealand Hospital in Hillerød here in Denmark. The very reason and occasion for this specific gathering. Okay. Now, Hillerod is in open nature, it's a totally different place, it's much bigger, um, a totally different um, challenge, and actually, even if it's rather flat, a very beautiful site condition that might change over time, but the way or the moment we found it, it was a totally open nature. So the concept was based on catching as much of this open nature and also not only from inside out, but also from outside in to make the building not obtrusive and overwhelming, but integrated in that landscape. And study those elements and take more of those should the exterior world with through development change in the future to take these ingredients and bring them closer to the building so that always also in the future you would feel in a park and not in a urban context that would be defined comparable to other places we've seen in opposition to what we just saw from the rehab, would we have remained with such a um, rectangular shape? We would have been too awkward for this open landscape and the main cores, the main connections ins inside the building would have been too far away. So obviously one reason why this kind of amoeba-like form uh, happened has to do with this very simple and functional um, move. So whoever uh, believes that we are just formal designers and like nice curves, which is also of course true, we have a very clear functional argument. And not only that, but of course once we found this form, uh, we studied many different ways, you know, that's like a form that came fr free from the hand and which we somehow liked, but uh, we then went for a more regular form and we now have a much more regular form, but clearly this is the competition project and we have, of course, started to think much more already, but only this summer do we start with really the next step in making everything more clear, more precise, more reliable and more sense in every uh, possible way. Also, the, the real geometry of this will then be the result of this next phase. Anyway, we have this kind of form that is opening up to the landscape and which is I think not only interesting because it brings in the center the different central functions, especially in the lower part. As I said, we have we will have two floors of um, uh, for outpatients, but also kind of a machine that is the more technical part, the surgery part, the treatment rooms. Whereas we have this crust on top, which is two stories of beds, the bed wards, and an interior garden. This form is also interesting because it embraces the nature so and it's relatively low rise even very low rise seen from outside which means that it appear it disappears more than if you had a more a stiffer rectangle form it's less apparent but especially also from inside the rooms, you have a view into the landscape, but at the same time, you always understand that there is also a neighbor. 
even if, if you're inside the patient room you see nature but you see there is another light there is someone you're not alone in the totally open landscape and i think that's different from for instance the rehab where you look out and you don't see anything from your own clinic or hospital or neighborhood if you like and this is so much bigger and the landscape is so much more open that we believe it's interesting that you have a notion of neighborhood in this kind of village-like organization on the top i quite like this model because it explains the concept even better you can see the kind of sockle which sits on the grown ground and on which which has an orthogonal organization and onto which we then have this kind of organic or seemingly organic crust of two-story buildings individual buildings like row houses sitting on top which break down the scale so we have a um, a clash or a, a a meeting if you like from big form and very small um unit we better understand it in the section that's the grown the grown ground that some of it we dig out and we'll take some of that to build the ram to bring you into the building onto that floor this lower part here is what we call the machine interiorly which is the very technical very sophisticated technical and medical part then the outpatient and the reception area the treatment rooms and the, then the upper courtyard with the two-story bed wards in the vertical diagram this is more or less what you get this kind of four different units that orient you also in the building and this kind of central part from where you get in where then you have this kind of four courtyards and this central reception area and from where you get up into these four bed wards that surround the central patio the central garden I do not now go into details of these different organizations, but you can see uh, that this is very strictly and very functionally organized, like a city, like an orthogonal city, you could say like Manhattan, and on top you have a village. And we like also this kind of stack of totally different models, because we want to offer a variety of qualities not one quality but give the medical side the people who work there who do everything to make the lives of the patient a good one at very good working conditions and a totally different um, challenge is to give to do the same thing for the patients in the um, upper part this diagram shows you this kind of manipulation, this kind of operation of bringing Earth away from the underground and pile it up on the side. So we, it's a slight manipulation of the otherwise unchanged natural landscape, which would lead to some kind of path or access. You can see that the, the forest or the given landscape could grow closer to the building and you enter the hospital on level one this is sadly not how the bed wards would look like we'd like to give them a much more domestic character much more house-like character that's a possible view of the reception area where these four wings come together We are on that level here and the sunken courtyards in between comparable to the rehab that you saw before we would like to give all these courtyards very interesting and specific characteristics which here in the competition phase is of course not developed as much as we will do it uh, now that's a, a view from uh, reception area in the bedward floor and that's one of these courtyards on the grown ground you can 
see through that opening onto the upper garden, which is here. And those are the two floors for the bedwards, and those are that's what we call the machine or the outpatient ambulatorium. And this is a, a first image showing how we imagine eventually the arrangement of these bed wards as a kind of a system we try to develop for prefabrication, which has an interesting tradition in Denmark, a good one and a bad one, the repetition and the standard, all the standardized uh, things have a negative um, association. But indeed, I think we could turn it into a very interesting uh, modular system that could be not only much cheaper than a standard construction, but also inspired to a very interesting way to develop um, prefabrication in hospital architecture in a new way. And much more than just um, a repetitive um, arrangement, we would really like to create a kind of a village-like arrangement where the patients would really feel very good. And uh, unlike these kind of um, very rectangular and, 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 and uh, rather awkward um, pieces, we rather imagine something inspired by this. And this image is also nice because it's also describe the kind of intimacy and privacy within something big or something large that we believe will be the unique selling point of, um, of the New Zealand hospital in uh, Hill Road. I would like to ask you a question about the, uh, the hospital in Hill Road. And, um, and there's actually two questions. The one is I would like you to... Uh, uh, outline how is the hospital to serve the needs of patients um, and then I would also like to know how do you think that this hospital gives you or gives us something new in respect to serve patients as we have not seen in other hospitals before well I try to explain it I um, cannot say more than uh, we try to give the patient a more fragmented uh, idea and not be part of a huge machine where they're just a small member, but to give them more, a more an individual uh, domestic scale. I tried to um, show that and suddenly we will work on this particular element. Ideally, a hospital is something where you feel like at home, even if, as if you were at home but at the same time be feel surrounded and immediately accessed to the best medical treatment. That again, like in the case of the soccer, depends more on the quality of the medical treatment than on the architect. Like in the case of the football stadium, if um, the football team plays lousily, then your building uh, you know, doesn't have the same kind of... Um, isn't valued in the same way, but we as architects have to do everything to to make that possible, that success. And architecture is not the most ex extraordinary, but it's an interesting ingredient to make that a better world. I think that's ultimately the role of architecture. We can make our lives more agreeable, more pleasant, more and open doors to, to meet. I mean, in the case of museums, that's less the case in a, museum, in a, in a hospital. Uh, this is perhaps also a place where you can improve, uh, you know, encounter between public and patient, which means between family and patient. But I think when I say our goal would be to give patients the feeling as if they were at home, to feel really in a very comfortable and... Uh, not just a number in a, in, a, in a big unit, in a combination of this uh, amazing proximity to medical treatment, I think that's more like a, a vision and how to realize it. I, you could see some images. I cannot now give you any more details, but certainly we can do that in a, in a, after the next phase has been developed.